any tips regarding getting first internship? As I'm senior student and already applied to 300, I got only 30 rejections, four interviews, and others just ghost. That's a good question. So I try not to give advice on stuff. Like if you've noticed, all I really try to give advice on is coding interviews. Even in like the clips that I make on the second channel, I don't really give advice. I just give like my opinions, but how to like get a job slash internship. It's obviously hard. Like I obviously struggled a lot trying to do this. I guess I'll just give you like my perspective. It's not just exclusive to like software engineering, but in general, there's two things that really matter to do that. One is you have to be good at what you do. You have to actually have the skills for whatever position you're applying to. Because at the end of the day, people are just trying to hire somebody that's really, really good. That's it. Like people want people who are good. I would hire somebody who's really, really good. It's just harder to find people that are good than you might think. And the second thing is actually like proving it. How do you actually prove that you're good if you already are? A lot of people struggle with both of these, but this is the one that you have like the most control over. If you get really, really good, that's something that's very much in your control. But if you're already good, like if you think you're already good, you're really good at making software, you're good at making projects, you've done things that are genuinely impressive, then the next thing becomes how do you prove it to people? If you're somebody with a lot of experience, that kind of is your proof, right? If you worked at Fang for 10 years or something, you don't really have to prove it. People will already assume you have those skills. Obviously, if you're looking for an internship, you don't have experience. If you're looking for your first job, you don't have experience. So how do you prove it? Projects is one thing, but for whatever reason, you could have like the most impressive project in the world and it just doesn't attract people as much as real experience. I think the closest thing to real experience that you can kind of get would be obviously like people talk about open source. If you can actually contribute to like impressive like open source projects, that's pretty good, but it's not easy. Like people go through their resume as if they're just trying to check off boxes. Okay, I gotta make projects, I gotta do leak code, I gotta do open source. Like that's the new thing these days. I gotta do open source, everybody. Yeah, you can do some really basic open source things like you know fix a typo or whatever in a repo. Nobody cares about that. You'll learn like the workflow of how to like make a pull request and stuff like that. That's great, that's good, but you gotta do a little bit more than that. So there's that. It's not easy to do open source. Like sometimes for a project, you really have to have expertise in that area, depending on what you're working on. The other thing would be free labor. Can you find somebody that you can like volunteer to work for? A lot of people are against free labor and I kind of am too. Like if you can find a paid position, definitely don't work for free if you don't have to. But at the end of the day, if you end up getting experience on your resume and you did work for free, it can help. The other thing is definitely uh, networking. For whatever reason, like I never even think of this as an option because to be honest, I'm pretty bad at networking. I'm probably not the person to ask for how to do this, uh, but it's very important. Just trying to be friendly, I guess, like be online in online communities. Like open source is a good way of networking just being in communities. A lot of people think of networking as just going around on LinkedIn or Twitter and asking people for favors. That's not gonna get you very far. Probably do the opposite, like try to give favors, like try to help people for nothing in return. And maybe then one day they'll help you in return as well. All of this kind of goes into just proving your worth, proving that you're competent, proving that you're like a decent person, proving that you have skills, you have technical skills, you know how to communicate with people and all that. And again, before you can prove it, you actually have to get those skills. You have to acquire that knowledge, whether it's like technical knowledge or just communicating. Honestly, the best way to learn how to communicate is just communicating. So like if you're trying to network, you're probably not going to lose anything by trying to network. You might make a mistake. You might piss somebody off, but you'll just learn a lesson by doing that. Yeah, that's my perspective. I know it doesn't like entirely answer your question. It's not super easy at this point in time to get jobs and internships. I think internships are actually harder to get than jobs right now. So don't feel too bad if you're struggling with that. So I have a question for you guys. When it comes to projects, projects are good. And I think the classic thing that people do is they'll make some kind of basic full stack app, like something that probably has like a React front end. It has JavaScript back end, probably like ExpressJS or something. Fine, nothing wrong with that. 
and maybe it'll connect to a database, probably a NoSQL database, probably MongoDB, maybe Firebase. It's maybe sometimes SQL. And that's like what a lot of jobs are anyway. But like I would try to do something a little bit more original. Like once you have that down, try to add something interesting to it. Can't really give you a lot of examples for me because I don't do a lot of projects. But like on my site, like I have like a code sandbox. That's unique. Like that's something the vast majority of people don't do when they're making a full stack app. Most people just create like some crud to-do list type basic thing. You kind of have to get creative. You kind of have to focus on something that you enjoy. 